is NJ, your host on this channel. In this video, we will have our discussion on the yearly predictions for the next year 2024 for all the rising signs. And before we will start our discussion, I wish all of you heartiest wishes and blessings of this upcoming new year. May all of your wishes come true. May you will find your purpose and this year will bring you good wealth, health and happiness in all areas of your life. So guys, uh, before we will jump into the customized results for this uh, upcoming new year, customized to your Lagna, let's first try to understand how the vibe of this year collectively is going to be influencing all of us. So guys, if you remember, um, like at the time when I made a video for the year 2023, I mentioned this thing that from the numerology point of view, the universal year turned out to be of seven, which is a number of extremities because it is being ruled by the planet Ketu. And we all have seen that um, the war which took place like Israel and this Hamas situation, which we all are witnessing. So that generally tend to remain a theme in the universal year of seven. But guys, Guys, when we talk about the vibe of the 2024, the sum total of that will give you the universal year vibration of number 8, which is being governed by the planet Saturn. Second thing is that even in the transit next whole year, Saturn is going to be strengthened in the sign of Aquarius, its own Mool Trikona sign. And Saturn is going to be traveling in the majorly in the Sadbisha Nakshatra and the Pur Bhadrapada Nakshatra. Both of the Nakshatra are somehow very much conducive and favorable for Saturn to manifest good results. And also guys, uh, in one of the video, I also mentioned this thing that as per our lunar calendar calculations, this year is also the somewhat sir, it is carrying the energy of the Mars as Mars is the ruler of this year. So definitely when we talk about the combined energy of the Mars and Saturn, so that definitely benefit all those people who are in the fields of engineering, construction, you are a builder or anything to do with the innovative work. So definitely this year will give you lot many opportunities. Apart from that, Jupiter is going to be transiting in the sign of Aries till the end of the April of 2024 and at the beginning of the May, it will transit to the sign of Taurus. So guys, uh, one thing is for sure that uh, because in the original Karl Purush Kundli, Aquarius is a sign of gains and Taurus is a sign of wealth. Now, as you can see that both of these two planets and these uh, zodiac signs are going to be in a strengthened state because Saturn being in the Aquarius and Jupiter being in the Taurus. Second thing is that the transiting Ketu is now going to be getting expected by the planet Jupiter. That in itself is a very good indication that in order for you to reap the reward of all those things which you have done, your soul has accumulated from the journey in the past so many lifetimes, this year can actually give you the results of that as well. And lastly guys, I always say this thing that <coughs> Whenever in the transit, if these two major planets, Jupiter and Saturn, are jointly influencing any sign, so the tendency to gain something very substantial connected with the attributes of that zodiac sign tend to remain very strong. So guys, during this year, once Jupiter will transit the sign of Taurus, Jupiter will expect the sign of Scorpio and Saturn is already giving its 10th aspect to the sign of Scorpio. So that in itself means that in whichsoever domain Scorpio energy is falling in your chart, you can actually achieve or accomplish something substantial pertaining to the domain of that zodiac sign and that house. So yes guys, after that now we will uh, shift our discussion customized to that basis your ascendant what this year is going to be bringing up for you so friends now we will have our discussion on the customized results for your rising sign so now what we will do in the rest of the video is that we will take up all of your individual 12 houses and we will try to see that how next year planets are going to be influencing you are they going to be creating some obstacles pertaining to the matters of that house or they are going to be opening up doors of opportunities for you. So guys, to start with the matters of your first house. So the points which I have written over here is that very auspicious year for spending on your fixed assets like land, machinery, vehicles, furniture, buildings. Relationship with friends, siblings need to be taken with a pinch of salt. Religious austerities, pilgrimages and meditative practices will be highly elevating. 
that will definitely add a magical charm or mojo to your endeavors jupiter's ninth aspect after may 1st and the universal year vibration of 8 will make many big things happen for you so guys this synopsis is very much self-explanatory because your ascendant lord is going to be transiting in your second house being in its own mool trikona sign so that in itself means that the whole focus of yours will definitely go pertaining to the matters of the second house and we cannot even overlook this fact that the energy of the next year 2024 also comes out to be of number eight being ruled by the planet saturn so somehow all the matters uh, in your life will definitely be well supported guarded because your ascendant lord is going to be strengthened next year now guys moving to the matters of your second house so the points which i have written over here is that saturn's presence here throughout the year will keep you very grounded futuristic with good support and caring attitude towards family now, when we talk about the matters of your third house, which tells about your initiative, which tells about your relationship with people around you, with your friends, with your siblings and the matters of your self-expression. So the points which I have mentioned pertaining to the third house is that Rahu's presence here will definitely make you fearless towards initiating big plans and facing any opposition relentlessly. But there should not be any blind faith put forth on people's support and extra caution and care should be given to while signing any new contract or agreements. Very good year for people connected with media or technology. So definitely guys, uh, when we talk about the matters of your third house, Rahu's presence in itself and specifically guys, when we talk about the Saturnian Lagnas, whether we talk about Capricorn, whether we talk about Aquarians, somehow Rahu tend to act in a much beneficial way. So that is the only reason guys, I have mentioned this thing that only the concern is coming in because whenever Rahu is placed in the water signs, a lot many times it creates those temptation towards where uh, it will give you false hope or too much uh, faith being attached to the support of other people might let you down at the 11th hour. So, and just because Rahu is considered as very fearless planet. So that is the only reason guys, I mentioned this thing because in a way, third house is also one of the Opachya houses where Rahu tend to act in a very graceful way where Rahu actually manifests some very good results. So the, the summary of the matters of your third house is that definitely it will make you very fearless you will be able to uh, withstand any opposition you will be able to handle and somehow execute some very big plans of yours only when it comes down to while signing any contract any agreement while doing any important paperwork or while dealing with the uh, real life people connected with the third house which are your friends and siblings so uh, be little bit alert and cautious that is all what i can say now guys, when we talk about the matters of your fourth house, so definitely fourth house becomes very important because fourth house tells about your containment, happiness, all aspect of your domestic life. And also this is also the house of the public as well. So uh, in this year, Jupiter's presence here till April being devoid of the malefic influence of Rahu and in the direct motion will pave path towards auspicious events in your domestic life. Now guys, when we talk about the auspicious events in the domestic life so it's not like that fifth house tells about progeny seventh house tells about marriage in a way all these aspects somehow in gets encapsulated in the fourth house which in a way tells about your domestic life your family life so i would say that jupiter's presence over here till uh, april is very auspicious for these kind of auspicious lifetime events taking place in your family life and definitely um uh, Saturn's third aspect will also be coming in over here. So Saturn's third aspect will increase the pressure of family responsibilities for your good. After that guys, um, and also uh, we have to also see that how uh, your fourth house lord is going to be behaving in the transit as well. So uh, definitely your fourth house lord which becomes the planet Mars. So Mars is going to get exalted in your first house in the month of uh, March. 
so that in itself tells about that because mars in your case has got a rulership over your fourth house and the 11th house and if it is going to get exalted in your first house and i keep on coming across lot many people uh, with a capricorn rising who are either uh, in the top management who are in politics who are in the business of real estate construction um, um, like building material manpower management and all so march could actually prove to be very successful for you like lot many people can be considered for uh, like position promotion new tenders recognition uh, being in the limelight so march is going to be very favorable for that the month of april when your fourth house lord and 11th house lord is going to get conjunct with saturn in your second house so definitely guys uh, because fourth house lord uh, getting conjunct with uh, saturn so it means in a way it has gone 11th place from its original placement so also guys for specifically people who as a part of their profession they deal with the sale purchase of car of houses who deal with the luxurious goods or financial markets the month of uh, april could be very harmonious for them in the month of may guys you have to be very careful because your fourth house lord is going to get conjunct with rahu and just because this combination of mars and rahu taking place in the third house so driven by your own head strongness uh, your uh, rashness in your behavior could create a discord in your family life so in the month of may you have to be careful the months of july and august uh, definitely guys uh, your fourth house lord is going to get conjunct with jupiter in your fifth house so it will be a very harmonious time for the freelance people or uh, people who are trying for uh, progeny childbirth so in a way the months of july and august are going to be very harmonious and definitely guys pertaining to the matters of your fourth house so from may 1st onwards time period will be favorable for relocation or any amendments in your living area so this is what i can see as a part of your fourth house contribution next year now guys when we talk about the matters of your fifth house which tells about your intellect which tells about your uh, spiritual inclination artistic creative pursuit and all so pertaining to the matters of your fifth house the points which i have mentioned over here is that may 2024 onwards when jupiter will enter over here time is very auspicious for childbirth students with overseas interest content creators and people holding any interest in theology or religion i'll repeat may 2024 onwards time is very auspicious for childbirth students who have got overseas interest content creators and people who are holding any interest in theology religion whether as a part of you are being a creator or you are very much interested in the acquisition of knowledge authentic knowledge so um, may onwards things will prove to be very harmonious for you also guys we have to see that when your uh, fifth house lord venus in the transit which in in a way becomes your yogaraka planet as well is going to be getting conjunct with other planets and forming a raj yoga as well so uh, in the month of march your uh, 10th house and your 5th house lord venus is going to get conjunct with saturn in your second house so definitely for uh, people who are uh, invested in stock market speculation artistic creative endeavors the month of march will be very harmonious for you the month of april when your 10th uh, house and the 5th house lord venus is going to be getting conjunct with rahu in your third house so again guys uh, fifth house lord has gone 11 places ahead of it so uh, especially people who are in the uh, social media realm the month of april will be very harmonious for them uh, because as you can see that uh, venus uh, is going to get exalted in your um, third house and uh, because of the presence of rahu it is going to exaggerate the qualities of the venus so definitely your charm your elegance will be uh, well perceived by your audience as well uh, by people around you and guys in the month of june uh, your fifth house and the 10th house lord is going to get conjunct with jupiter in its own house in the uh, fifth house which in itself is going to be a very good indication specifically people trying for childbirth any of the artistic creative uh, like um, uh, presentation performances and all so month of june will be very harmonious for you moving ahead guys now pertaining to the matters of your sixth house which tells about your health which tells about the concerns of the debt your competitive spirit so pertaining to the matters of your sixth house the points which i have mentioned over here is that it's a, um it is best to avoid any conflicts 
especially with your maternal side relations so guys there is a whole logic over here because as you can see that it's not like that only um, I'm taking into consideration the Mercurian sign Gemini over here in your sixth house I also took into consideration that during this year another sign of the planet Mercury is going to be resided by the planet Ketu which is a very unrelenting force and that too because Ketu is going to be transiting in your ninth house as well which again has to do with your family ties with your father and your ancestors and all so that is the only reason I mentioned this thing that it is best to avoid any conflicts especially with your maternal side relations feeding dogs will be a very good remedy during this year good year for performing good in competitive situations those who will be seeking big sum of money as loans to further their business interest will find success not much vulnerability on the health front healthy eating habits will prove to be very rewarding during this year again guys now we have to see that when your sixth house lord and your uh, ninth house lord in the transit is going to be getting conjunct with other planets so mercury uh, is going to be getting conjunct with saturn uh, in your like second house in the month of march so again guys it is a very good indication specifically for all those people who are trying to get their loan approved or you um, in your line of work you have worked hard now you want to apply for any raise any remuneration related concerns so the month of march will prove to be very harmonious for you in the month of june guys as you can see that your sixth house lord and the ninth house lord is going to be uh, transiting from your uh, fifth house and the sixth house so again that is going to be a very good indication fifth house uh, like as you know is a very important house for the students and sixth house is the actual house of competition so in the months of uh, like um, uh, June uh, specifically in the month of June if you have to write any competitive exam so the month of June will be very harmonious for you and lastly guys in the month of October your fifth uh, like your sixth house lord and the ninth house lord Mercury is going to be getting conjunct with uh, it is going to be transiting from your ninth house and the tenth house so again guys um, if uh, you are in that line of work that you are in any of the leadership role or where you have to exert authority or you have to uh, shoulder some big responsibilities some important projects so the months of uh, like the month of October will prove to be very harmonious for you moving ahead guys now pertaining to the matters of your seventh house which tells about your public image your commercial interest and the concerns of marriage matrimonial alliances so the points which I have mentioned over here is that very good year for finding solace through partnership and association. Year, um, year's vibe is very positive for recognition, public acceptance and awards. Year's energy is very positive for running into authentic loving relationship. So yes guys this is what the energy which I have found over here. I am not seeing much of the vulnerability and I am seeing this thing while giving proper attention and care that how saturn and jupiter in a way are somehow influencing your important houses of the family tradition culture values your doctrines so that is the only reason i mentioned this thing that you will definitely find the solace which you will be eyeing for and also very good year for recognition your ascendant lord is strengthened so if you have proven yourself you have worked hard so recognition will definitely come your way Moving ahead guys now pertaining to the matters of your 8th house so now guys as you can see over here that your uh, ascendant lord from the 2nd house is going to be giving straight aspect to your 8th house now 8th house which is the only house which in a way can create some unpredictable unforeseen sudden problems in our life so um, the points which I mentioned pertaining to the 8th house is that for this year Saturn straight aspect being your ascendant lord will support financial gains through investment, joint resources, royalties, concerns of inheritance and all. So guys, you have to understand this thing that definitely Saturn is going to be giving its straight aspect, but from where it is giving aspect? It is giving its aspect from the second house, which is the house of your finances. So that is the only reason I mentioned this thing that for any of the financial gains, which are generally attached with the eighth house, so in order to gain in that area domain next year is very harmonious for you now guys when we talk and also uh, looking at that how your eighth house lord in the transit is going to be behaving uh, throughout the year getting conjunct with other planets so in the month of april like april mid onwards your eighth house lord planet sun is going to get exalted in your fourth house 
so again guys it's a very good time for like uh, let's say for example any of the uh, any of the uh, like uh, any of the gains on the account of the selling or purchase of a house related concern house renovation or some uh, public recognition and all so the month of uh, april mid onwards energy is going to be favorable for you and also guys um, uh, mid august onwards when sun is going to be well placed in your uh, like uh, uh, eighth house and mars is going to be transiting in your uh, fifth house so that is also going to be a very good time like specifically when we talk about any of the concerns of some sudden speculative gain or recognition specifically if you're connected with research exploration you have any academic or very scholarly interest or uh, profile then i would say the uh, time period like from mid august onwards is going to be very harmonious favorable for you now guys when we talk about the matters of your ninth house so definitely guys ninth house which tells about your pilgrimage long distance travel your faith uh, your mentors your teachers and all so pertaining to the matters of your ninth house the points which i have mentioned over here is that some epiphanies sudden discoveries and awakenings are bound to happen after may 2024 when jupiter will start expecting your ketu in the ninth house so again guys try to understand this thing it's not like that only uh, ketu is transiting in the ninth house but whenever ketu comes in the contact of the planet jupiter or jupiter give its aspect to the ketu ketu gets activated over there now ketu getting activated in the ninth house is a very good news for the capricorn rising natives for next year so the points which i have mentioned over here is that and that is the only reason i mentioned this thing that some epiphanies sudden discoveries and awakenings are bound to happen after may because uh, during that time then jupiter would have started giving its aspect to your ninth house so guys uh, the points which i have mentioned over here is that uh, you have to be highly receptive intuitive and respectful towards your mentors father or father like figures as some deeper life lessons will come through them um, and also guys uh, about the timeline so we have to see that how the transiting planets like specifically your ninth house lord planet mercury is going to be behaving in the transit in which all months it's going to be getting conjunct with other planets forming some sort of raj yogas so in the month of uh, march uh, mercury uh, your ninth house and sixth house lord is going to get conjunct with the planet saturn in your uh, second house so again guys uh, this is going to be time period where um, travels might prove to be a little bit expensive for you in the month of june your um, ninth house and the sixth house lord is going to be getting conjunct with uh, jupiter as well and it is going to be transiting from your fifth house and the sixth house so ninth house lord transiting from the fifth house getting uh, strengthened in the sixth house is a very good indication for students for uh, higher studies related concerns and guys uh, moving ahead now pertaining to the matters of your 10th house now 10th house which um, tells about your uh, public image which tells about with how much conviction you pursue your goals and all so uh, the points which i have mentioned over here is that uh, profession will ascend or move as per your anticipated plans sixth from your 10th is rahu and eighth from your 10th house is the planet jupiter in the transit which means innovative efforts and optimistic thinking about your career and also guys uh, because as you can see that uh, in your 10th house you will find the energy of your yokarka planet venus over there so in the month of march your yokarka planet venus is going to be getting conjunct with saturn in your second house so which in itself is a very good indication specifically for people who are like um, like uh, any of the financial dealings or financial remuneration related concerns can be raised during this period in the month of april when your 10th house and the 5th house lord venus is going to get exalted in your third house and it is also going to get conjunct with rahu so that is going to be a very good time where your magnetism your charm elegance will definitely help you or it will definitely further your career related interest as well so if in your line of work uh, public speaking or content creation public performances is an integral part of work like beauty charm elegance is a necessary ingredient then definitely you're heading towards some very good time 
Uh, along with that, guys, in the month of June, as you can see, your fifth house and your tenth house lord, planet Venus, is going to be uh, getting accentuated in your fifth house, being in its own uh, house, getting conjunct with Jupiter. So that is definitely going to be a time period where all the creators, like if you are in any of the business of teaching, consulting, or where uh, performances, uh, originality is needed, you'll be able to do something very good. Moving ahead guys, now pertaining to the matters of your 11th house. So now guys, as you can see that in your 11th house, you will find the energy of the Scorpio sign. Now guys, during this year, the good part over here is that Scorpio is a sign which is uh, receiving the dual aspect, both from the planet Jupiter and the planet Saturn. Second thing is that you cannot even overlook the importance of the universal year vibration. If you will make a sum total of the 2024, you will get the resulting number as the 8. So Saturn number 8 vibration is very accentuated in your case you are very fortunate you are very lucky that this energy is falling in your 11th house so that in itself means the points which i have mentioned over here is that very good year for running into prominent people or taking some significant steps in your career dual aspect of saturn and jupiter along with universal year vibration of 8 is very auspicious for the attainment of success now guys we will also take into consideration that your uh, 11th house lord planet uh, like uh, Mars, how it is going to be uh, behaving in the transit, getting conjunct with other planets, forming some sort of Raj Yogas. So in the month of March, as you can see that your 11th house Lord Mars is going to get uh, exalted in your first house. So th that is going to be a time period where your confidence or where you will stand a very strong chance for recognition or being in the limelight. In the month of April, as you can see that your 11th house Lord uh, Mars is going to get conjunct with Saturn in your second house. So again guys, uh, this is a very good combination. So uh, Mars is somehow definitely whenever this kind of combination takes place, we have to first see what role these two planets are playing. So definitely guys, uh, for Capricorn rising, Saturn is your ascendant Lord. We cannot even say this thing that Mars is not a very auspicious planet for you because it has got the rulership of one of the uh, like um, angular house and also 11th house is also very important so I would say that uh, that is going to be a very important time specifically in the month of April where uh, you will be able to take some very significant decision in your financial portfolio or you might remain lucky in that some big opportunities will start coming in which will make you actually introspect or revisit your financial offering and your financial portfolio so it is a positive news for you and uh, guys in the uh, month of May as you can see that uh, uh, Mars your 11th house and your 4th house Lord is going to get conjunct with Rahu in your third house so again this is a time the month of May where you have to be very uh, cautious careful not only in order to safeguard your domestic peace but also driven by rage or like I would say that headstrongness you do not have to commit or sign any agreement or just in order to uh, help someone, you do not have to get yourself into the mess. So in the month of May, you have to be very careful for these kind of outcomes. And guys, uh, in the months of uh, July and August, um, as you can see that your 11th house Lord planet Mars is going to be getting conjunct with Jupiter in your uh, like fifth house. So I would say this thing that the month of July and August is going to be very auspicious uh, because your 11th house Lord is going to be uh, getting conjunct with Jupiter in the fifth house which is a very important house specifically when we talk about your decision making because fifth house in a way tells about the way our mind function so just because a uh, planet is going to be transiting uh, right opposite to its original house so in a way for students or for uh, people who are connected with stock market speculation or performing arts the month of uh, July and August is going to be very harmonious for you now guys lastly uh, pertaining to the matters of your 12th house so which tells about your overseas interest which tells about your psychic awareness um, the points which i have mentioned over here is that very good year for any auspicious decisions pertaining to participation in any religious retreat reuniting with your family after a long time like for example if you have been living overseas abroad and you have not visited your hometown you have not visited your like uh, birthplace or you have not met your family in a very long span of time due to any so reasons so i would say that um, pertaining to the matters of the 12th house so it will definitely bring you back to your roots that is the only reason guys i mentioned this thing that the whole next year 
the houses which are close to you like your family immediate family your motherland so these houses are very accentuated so i would say that if any development take place where you have to uh, take into consideration going back to your roots so do consider that because with saturn in your ascendant lord in the second house jupiter being in such a accentuated state so this will definitely give you success or it will open up some new doors for you so i'll repeat the matters of the 12th house very good year for any auspicious decisions pertaining to participation in any religious retreat reuniting with family after a long time investments in land properties or vehicles so yes guys this is something which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs for further more updates and notifications on the divine science of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook page dhanyawad